for Mercer. You, you called it, Terry. 6'7", two guard. It gets in the paint with some athleticism. He's tough to stop. And they bring 6'5", 6'6", off the bench at the guard spot, too. They've got a couple of 6'10", 6'11", players. And not only tall, but long. Long arms, wingspan. Sure enough, he can shoot it. That's beyond the arc. Not there if they're past 10 feet away from the bucket, so... Riley continues to guard Reed, and he can knock down that 15-footer. He might have a pretty good look at it. Now, here's the challenge if you're Florida State, and for any team that comes in, especially out of conference, to play Northwestern, this Princeton-style offense. You almost have to forget, if you're a team that takes away passing lanes and you're aggressive, you got to fight a team that in the past has struggled on the glass. Yeah, the Wildcats are bigger in terms of height, but... Michael Thompson will take the air out which Bill Comedy likes to see now, man. Not that they won't run. I mean, this is a team that wants to get up and down a little bit more this year because of that depth. And had a pretty good game last game against UC Riverside. Another foul on Chris Singleton, so he's picked up two quick fouls to start this. Third team foul against Florida State. Rowley from Trinidad, but he went to Lake Forest Academy here in Illinois. There's that left hand off the glass and in. Little jump hook for a lobby. So it's 8 7 Florida State. Jordan DeMercy, who struggled from the field, came out and got his first shot down. That bodes well for Florida State. Very athletic, nice size, creating the open shot for Olivy. So good sign for Florida State. Rowley with the miss, tipped up. Because a lot of times, Terry, when teams don't see Northwestern that often, they think they can come in and play man to man. And success here early, but. If they get some backdoor cuts on them, look for Litter, Litter and Hamilton to possibly go zone. Merkovic off the block, it looks to go inside out. And it's not like they've beaten him from three-point land yet. Merkovic, oh, the block by a lobby. Sherna, and it's blocked again. You Duke. look like you're, you really wanted to say so. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying, Duke looked impressive. Pretty they good. said that was the best crowd in Mackey Arena has seen in years, and they ne never were able to get into the game because of Duke's pressure defense and their spread offense really took advantage of their quickness advantage over Purdue. So don't hand the ACC title to North Carolina yet. That's right. Is what you're saying. That's right. It will definitely go through uh, Durham and will possibly go through Winston-Salem. Nice, nice roll. By Jordan DeMercy, the coaches were talking about at the beginning of the game. They wanted him to get a layup down early. Very streaky score. But a lockdown defender. For Letty, guarded by Xavier Gibson, who's come off the bench for Leonard Hamilton. They bring size off the bench, and they start size. Thompson blocks in the corner. Douglas swatted it out almost to score the basketball. Third team All-ACC last season. So, Tony Douglas can get it done on both ends. Four on the shot clock. Moore's got to shoot it now. That's a tough shot. Fading away right along the base situation. He does. And that's why you like seniors on your ball club. Right. They've got that four years in the weight room, and they've been in those experiences before. Michael Thompson, who picked up his first a moment ago, Moore with the head fake and gets it. Right. Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Harry Douglas has got the whole team watching tonight, so I had to get that in early. Tony's stunting for his brother right now. Harry gets enough pub. He doesn't need the shout out. <laughs> Ryan, the block, but we hear about the legend of. Jimmy Valvano, I want to know, what was it like to play for the man? It was a different adventure every single day. You know, he always talked about having it. And I would have gave it to you. Could have been on a poster. <laughs> it worked out okay, though. We won. That was a nice week. Uh, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Ryan. Those find themselves in very good position. Bill Carmody going to the bench and try to find the right combination of players. They've got to find a way to get this young man open and some opportunities, Craig Moore. But if you're Northwestern right now, you're down four. I think the pace of the game, the style of the game, it's okay. I mean, you've got Sherna operating inside. And a jump ball is caught. Heisman Trophy win. Yes, sir. Pretty good on the uh, on the field as well. But Dave Cowens, the big redhead. Dang, look at that. 6'9 center. Oh, and got it done. Rollins there. Ooh. Own crowd cheering for a defensive rebound, so they... Very knowledgeable fans here, knowing that that's one of Northwestern's weaknesses. 
Moore, who's one for two to Nash. But if you're shooting in the teams percentage wise and you're only down four and change that right now, that's a. You know, in the house tonight. Joey Myers in the house tonight. And Tommy O'Neill came over to see him. He teed him up before the game. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't resist. Nice back door. And that's what this offense gives you. Western got the flow of the game where they want it. Now you see Coble and Moore in the game. By DC Big Ten Challenge, and uh, you've been on the Big Ten the last couple of years, even though you're a former star for the Illini. But this year, uh, they've held their own. They have held their own, and, and they have to, Terry, for a number of different reasons for respect, for the recruiting battles of these two conferences. And, you know, the, the upper echelons of Wisconsin's, the Purdue's, except for last night, and the Michigan States are usually pretty competitive. But, <laughs> but you were close. Okay. I'll get it right. Kobo. I know it. And Uche is so strong inside but has the finesse. It's, it's a, a disease that affects nearly everyone. $700,000 last year raised during Jimmy V Week, which is tremendous. Florida State staying solid in their man-to-man -man defense and trying to pressure the basketball, but the help side is strong. Not a line for many backdoor cuts. And Ampel Usic off the bench to Moore over to Koble, a pull up. Had their own drought of over four or five minutes without a field goal. Yeah, this lineup has proved very good right thus far for Florida State. Got the, the size in the backcourt with Louts and Douglas on the floor. You got Reed back in the ball game who looks 100%, so not quite as tall, but very athletic and very good defensively. Coble's got to create this time around Hoff, tipped up and in by Ryan. Your big guys, Craig Moore, Kevin Coble, need to stand up. They need to make plays. Coble's been aggressive the last two times with the ball in his hand. Let's see what happens. To Moore, well, that's a nice catch and shoot because he really out here. Douglas has seven in the game. Approaching the two-minute mark here in the first half. <laughs> Leonard Hamilton can go to his bench. Got numbers and uh, expecting more. Derwin Kitchen, the Juco transfer to NCAA paperwork. Wait, are we keeping up with your schedule or what? Do you Go ahead, give it to us. Well, what I mean, else are you going to be? We, we got the tight shorts on you earlier. I mean, come <laughs> on now. You got to give a little love. Kobo, oh. that's a three. All right, so Kevin Kobo. Yeah, yeah. Good. That's a uh... oh, nice ball move. Nash set up from the back door cut. It's starting to become a lost art in college basketball. Moore guarded by Douglas. Good matchup to take away the three-point shot. First half, you can't be at all pleased with that. It's allowed Northwestern, even though they've struggled at this end, to stay in the game. Koble, they left him alone. The floater gets it back. Contact, no call. Ryan, uh-uh. Echifu clears the rebound. Open up with a three ball. You know, that was so impressive by Jordan DeMercy. He had an opportunity to shoot the three. That's not his strong suit. Quick shot by the Seminoles. I'm not sure. It wasn't a bad shot, but right. uh, that quickly in the offense. Not sure that's what Leonard Hamilton wanted. Moore behind the screen and the foul. Flash. That's one of those that's not called in practice. That's right. That's right. And that's one of those that the coaches really don't mind either. Well, and maybe the officials in the second half. They let him play in the first half, trying to set a tone early. Bruce Thompson going in there, finding the, the going tough. This uh, a raindrop. No contact. Ah, uh, I think there's a little Fred Astaire there. All right. Douglas buries the three, though. They're heating up from beyond the arc. Kobo oh. off the other foot. Juice Thompson has been very quiet. Has not found his range and hasn't had many openings on his jump. On the cold that time, Craig Moore read the scouting report. Laid back. Drew the foul. Lauk set to check in, but they can't get a dead ball. Moore. <laughs> Charlton Heston, that's worthy of him. 
First foul on Douglas. Lauchs picked up his second foul. The last time Northwestern led at the eight-minute mark in the first half, it was 16-15. Chance to take the lead right now with this trip. Well, they had more initially and found them late. Inside out to Coble, though. Sweet dime once again by Ryan Reed. Very adept at the interior passing. Somebody turned up the dial in the last couple of minutes in this one. Some intensity and conference pride on the line. I don't know if they know the number of games, but they know they're one of the last games. And on 